In the next few days, Sussex artist Frank Moore is off to Amsterdam, one of the many cities where his highly distinctive paintings have been exhibited. His work is reaching a global audience via his internet website. Current themes include racist violence, war and refugees. And despite being 90, he's in his prime, producing more work than ever before. John Ryle has been to meet him. So who lives in a house like this? Frank Moore, that's who. He knew from the age of 10 that this is what he wanted to do with his life. But his father insisted that he train not as an artist, but as an art teacher. Then came marriage and children and the need for a steady income. And so for 40 years, he taught art instead of painting it. Then came his big break, retirement and time to work. Now at 90, Frank's work is being exhibited in France and New York and attracting global acclaim on his internet website. My main interest is people, the relationship of people to each other, such as um, lovers and mother and child and uh, that type of uh, idea. And then the relationship of people to their surroundings. Mm -hmm. um, Quite recently I've been working on refugees because that's one of the big things that are going on at the moment. Mm -hmm. Are you getting better as you get older? Does, it, does, does the work become harder? It's rather strange. Um, I, I never think about age. I mean, I just go <laughs> on working as I've always worked. <laughs> Old age, he says, has to some extent dictated his style. I've decided on this um, larger um, uh, scale because when you're, uh, when you're older, it's difficult to do the more manipulative things like that. So when you've got a thing this size, you can use this kind of movement and it's much easier. Soon, for the first time, Frank's off to Amsterdam and the Van Gogh Museum. Meanwhile, his website is attracting more visitors by the day. And even the critics agree that the work of Frank Moore is something to shout about. John Marlin Eastbourne for Meridian Tonight. Extraordinary. 90 years old. What an inspiration to us all.